Good morning. Welcome to what remains of Route 28 of my Wainwright Challenge. I'm parked at Blee Tarn, as you can see behind me, and I'm just nipping up Lingmore Fell. Um, that's it. Uh, I have to say I've got to get home today and move the caravan and one thing and another, so it's early morning. I'm planning on being up and down in hour hour and a half um, so I can get off. Um, here we go. What a beautiful morning. Langdale Pikes up there in all their glory. Harrison Stickle, Piker Stickle. This is Blee Tarn. Now, I, would, I did consider coming to this hill off of uh, Piker Bisco. Yes, that I did uh, a couple of days ago. But uh, if you remember, I'd added already, I did that. And uh, coal fell to uh, another day. And I just didn't have it in my legs. Yes, as I suspected, the path rises quite steeply from the off. Blee Town down there, looking uh, spectacular. Very steep path, scrambling through the, uh, or meandering through the cliffs and crags. So, look at this, isn't it awesome? We've got the Pike of Bisco, Pink Crinkle Crags, a bit beyond, Bowfell. This is uh, stunning. We walked up that valley uh, a couple of days ago to Rosset Pike, if you remember, before going up Bowfell. That might be Esk Pike in the background. The Langdale Pikes here. Fantastic. The path does uh, ease somewhat. In fact, it becomes a undulating path now. But it needed to. Not so far to the uh, top. There's a couple of cairns on the way up. We're following this uh, fence line. Stan's leading the way. You see up there? Not far to the top now. So here we are at the top, Lingmore Fell. I think it's otherwise known as Brown Howe. Let's get a quick view. Wow, yeah, this is definitely the high point. Definitely the high point. So, looking off the top here, I think that's Weatherham there. And right over there in the distance is Old Man Coniston. You can see it's quite a distinct top, if I, if I remember. Obviously, we've uh, we've climbed all of these recently. That could be Great End, I think, peeping out over there. The Harrison Stickle there and the Langdale Pikes. This is absolutely awesome. Short video today, I'm afraid. So, over the stile, back down the path, retrace our steps back to the car. Hi, welcome to Route 28A at last. <laughs> um, I tried uh, Lincoln Mingmel Fell to um, um, Black Crag if you remember, and um, home fell a couple of days ago, but um, I had to rush off to um, pick my friend up from the train station, so that was that. I then tried adding it to uh, the day I did Bowfell and Crinkle Crags, and I added um, Coal Fell and Pike Abisco in, but it just felt like one fell two, two more, so here we are, third time lucky. Uh, I have to say, short day. Very, very short, but I'm having to move the caravan now, so I've only got an hour before uh, it's due off the site. Um, the walk was an hour and a half, and uh, it took me an hour, and it's 880 feet, so it's a very, very short day. Fabulous walk, uh, quite steep from the off. We parked at Blee Town, £5 for two hours. Um, as I say, very, very steep for the first half of the walk, and then it levelled off to be... Uh, just a nice uh, meander, if you like, through the fell top. Um, some stunning views. It's really, really, really nice looking across at the various hills that you've climbed over the last week or, so, or, or two and kind of recognising them all. Thoroughly enjoyed the climb. Um, you're definitely, uh, definitely at the top when you get to the top because I was a little bit unsure whether... Um, 
whether it was the real top that I was heading to because on the map um, it's um, I think it's called Brown How. Um, anyway, uh, fabulous little walk.